Yeah, you know, obviously Shadron is really uh, athletic guard play and just their physicality of getting into the ball. They're very disruptive, and it, I think it hurt our flow offensively in the first half. I thought we competed hard defensively. Uh, and then, you know, Ethan Menzies kind of took over inside in the second half and just sort of loosened the game up for us, allowed us to separate. Um, I wouldn't say it was our most focused effort of the year, uh, but I thought I was proud of the way the guys responded. And it was a quick turnaround from an emotional weekend, and uh, we found a way to get it done. And looking ahead, talk about the, the excitement that the team has right now. To be able to, one, you get one of your goals, you win the, the regular yeah. season conference half now, win the game last night, get the host the, the Yeah, I, I think everybody's excited uh, for what we can accomplish. And, um, you know, I, it's just a big weekend and a fun opportunity, a great place we put ourselves. And so we're just enjoying the process and competing as hard as we can. And it helps to be at home. And, and so we're excited about the challenge. Um, I kind of like Coach said, we did start slow, but we definitely got in rhythm pretty quickly once the second half kicked in. But first half, they did come out shooting. We knew off of personnel who was going to be shooting, like number five. We knew 20 was going to be able to shoot. So I think we just had to make quick adjustments. We were kind of closing out a little late or short closing on a lot of the plays. So I just feel like we just made the adjustments, like coming into halftime. We talked about it. We made the adjustments we needed to be successful in the second half. So, yeah. I think it's on paper, yeah, it always looks easy for fans, you know, one versus eight, oh, we should win, but the first match of what, what, double overtime against them? Is, how do you guys feel about that comparing, knowing that it's not a quote easy match? Yeah, I just think, I mean, anybody who's followed this team or uh, for the team themselves, I mean, every game is a dogfight and we have to figure out how to be successful. And, um, you know, we, we've, uh, we've, you know, we've been a mistake prone team and then but we've been very solid defensively all year and we're very capable offensively. I mean, last night at the half, you know, they'd taken 30 shots. We'd only taken 16. They dominated us on the glass. We turned the ball over like crazy and we were winning the game, you know, so we just held them down um, and uh, gave ourselves a chance until we can kind of figure out. And then we play with poise and key times and, and make enough plays to win. That's uh, unfortunately been our formula. It's, I guess it's a good formula because we've been winning, but if we could reduce those turnovers and be consistent on the glass, I think, uh, this team has, you know, incredible potential down the stretch here. It plays the last, I mean, obviously, you, know, you come in, you get hurt right away, you know, right before the first game. But the growth that you've seen in your game, what would you say is the biggest improvement you've made this season? I feel like it's not, um, it's not even on the court. It's been my biggest improvement. My biggest improvement for myself has been watching film. I just, I feel like the importance of watching film is so crucial to success on the court for me because in the past years playing high school I never really watched film myself we just went out there we played games we never had personnel we didn't really know what we were going into until we were in the actual game and I feel like watching film and just seeing myself play a little too fast in the paint and just slowing down has been the biggest improvement for myself so just for me film is the most crucial thing just for my success on the court you're figuring out the order of the stop in the lane now yeah just slowing down not trying to bulldoze my way in there because everybody's going to take charges on me and Chris. We've already seen that the whole season. Everyone sits in the paint, takes charge on it. So just being slower and being smarter at what plays I make, what passes I make has been more successful for me than me just going straight down. So, yeah, just slowing the game down in my eyes. Yeah, there were several times in here last night you could see it. Yeah, three weeks ago, you're going straight in. Charge. Last night, you stopped jump stop, pass off, or you were able to move around the defender? Yeah, just picking my moments has been picking when I see opportunity for me to score without uh, someone stepping in front of me or just jump stopping, pivoting out. Uh, coach told me one of my biggest improvements this summer and coming into next year and the end of this year is it has to be uh, just slowing down in the paint and be able to post up smaller guards. And I feel like if I really do work on that, it's really going to elevate my game to the next level. So just for me to be slower is going to be more crucial for me and ultimately lead for my success in the teams overall, so. We talked a little bit about you know, that last night with Blaze and Furbo, just kind of 
kind of how they figured out I can't I can't go to the rim every single time because they are going to take charges on it. Yeah, I think they both did a great job last night. Over the last couple of weeks, we've seen consistent improvement with that. And I do, it's a big credit to them. Not only are they coming in and watching film with me, but they've gotten into just watching film on their own, too. Uh, just a very mature freshman class. All those guys are doing the same thing. And I think it's one of the reasons they've seen so much growth is they're, they're really you know looking to, to get better and figure out how to be successful and, and really have a growth mindset and how they're going about things. They just don't keep making the same mistakes over and over again. So. That's a credit to them and, and their growth and development. And again, with their, all of their potential and, and their approach, it's really exciting, not only what we can get done this year, but in the future. Yeah. Yeah, there's no question, and I can, you know, again with their approach, it's just, uh, it's, they, you know, it's, they're just this, the sky's the limit for them, and so we're really excited. Adam State obviously is one of those teams, you know, they're long, they're athletic, they're always on the boards. Yeah. Pretty good games, you know, against them. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's a big challenge. I mean, they basically do everything Shadron does, but they're way longer and they're way more skilled on offense. And so uh, it will be a big challenge. We'll have to be way better than we were last night. And, um, you know, it was a, just watching today the, game, the last game we played against them. It was really a game of runs. Like when we could take care of the ball, we were able to have a lot of success. Um, and then, you know, we were able to get our defense set, which helped us get stops. And then these segments where they would go on uh, runs were off of turnovers. I think we turned it over 26 times. And so, you know, we just have to take care of the ball and do exactly what Blaze was saying is when we get in there and we see rotation, we got to be able to move the ball and force them to be a multi-effort team uh, defensively and not just able to make one play and get a steal or a block. We turn it over 26 times. I turn. I think this is two words, but I turn into a head rubber a lot. I rub my head <laughs> and I turn the, the ball over. So hopefully I won't be that this weekend. So I don't know. I don't have a word. What do you got, boys? I've been calling you the bulldozer. I heard somebody on the bench saying that last night. What's it go with the bulldozer? Yeah, bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs>